Right, this is attempt number three. I've just done a cracking video on how to wire up the mic and I never saved it and I lost the whole lot. So there you go, we're in a bit of a mess now. But uh, at the end of the video, I will put a link up the top here, somewhere, to a site that gives you loads of really handy uh, wiring diagrams for various mics. But if you don't know what you're doing, before you go there you really need to know what some of the terminology means this is what you're liable to come across something like that that's the diagram uh, for a, a, wiring up a mic in no particular order I just randomly wrote these down <coughs> but you'll have something like SC or screen it might even say common RX audio and TX now, of course, if yours is one of these fancy rigs with up and down scan on the mic, you'll have more pins. But uh, that's another thing. I'm just showing you how to wire up a four pin. And uh, I'll show you what TX, RX, etc. means using the multimeter that you see in front of you. Right, let's get it right this time, Steve. Because otherwise, I'm going to get very fed up. Okay, so we're meter on continuity or diode test. If you touch the two probes together, there you go. Very little, if any, resistance. And uh, there you go. Just before we get on with the mic thing, you can use it to check a fuse. Now, there you go. So if you've got household fuse where you can't see the the wire in the middle, you can check your fuse like that, no problem, nice, quick and easy. So, the mic I'm going to do a quick demonstration on is a Cobra Power mic. I'll just shove that over there, and it's a four pin. Okay. I know roughly where these are, I've been there, done this one before. I just want to show you with a meter what we're looking for no. never goes right the second time does it ever there you go what I've done here I know full well I don't know if you can see that where the red probe is that goes to the common on this particular mic the other one is to what they call the TX wire I know that because when I go in to press the mic so what I would do write that down and let's just say this is a diagram ignore what's already written there what I would do is draw that and then this one here I know is the common you just put common or screen and I think it's that one there on this particular mic it's TX so I'll just write TX All right, now you want to find RX now, RX will be the one where you get a continual tone if you go between common and it which I think on this mic is there okay so what you do, transfer that onto your new mic and then the, the one remaining pin is going to be your audio now you know that because you've got one of the pins is common which you've matched up with TX so that's two pins once you've got the RX which is that one this pin here is audio 100% and I've gone through that a little bit quick, but if you bear in mind, I've been doing this for about an hour. If you've got any uh, questions, of course, just ask by the comments. More than that, to answer anyone's questions. So that's that. So just to recap, the common on that particular mic, and this is from the solder side. So your plug will look something like this, the back. Okay, with a little cut out there at the bottom that's what that represents and that's what the diagrams that you're going to be looking at will 
have on the bottom just so you know what you're looking at so screen on this particular one I've written RX which is false but for the TX you're looking for a tone between your screen and TX so when you key the mic your beep goes off and then when you go between this one and RX which I've marked down on this one is there you'll get a continual tone the other one's audio pure and simple I ain't going to tell you how to do the soldering because you know most people can solder if you can't just practice soldering a few bits of wire together just keep the wires clean and whatnot maybe that's another video one of these is worth investing in it's a solder sucker they're only about five pound maybe less maybe a bit more i got mine from maplin along with a soldering iron and all the rest for about 10 quid it was in a sale uh, that's about it like I say I've done this three times before I went into it in a little bit more depth than the last one but I hope this has been of uh, some help but, uh, if you've not subscribed already hit subscribe and then any other videos I do you'll be notified sort of as and when I release them and I've got loads loads and loads uh, in the pipeline hopefully some of them will be of interest to you you know this is like including on air stuff and uh, I might even do one on sideband on 10 metres because I'm licensed I know it's a CB site but just to give you an idea I might even just use the clarifier and not even talk just to show you how to tune somebody in and uh, I just sort of wrap it all up by saying thanks for watching you know, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, sort of give it the old thumbs up, like the video, and all that. And uh, hopefully, you'll come back and watch some of my other videos. So, uh, till next time, 73s, look after yourself, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.